Just love you, just loves you. Just. All right, can I live a sinless life? Um, there's some people that claim, I used to wonder, after I gave my whole life to Jesus, I used to wonder if I was sinless, and that's because I'm, I was always... I'm still always asking, like, Jesus, what do you want me to do? And it's not in, like, I'm not, like, you know, trying really hard. I'm just always wanting to do what Jesus wants me to do because it's amazing. It's it's the best thing ever. So I used to wonder if I was sinless after I gave my life fully to Jesus. But uh, but as I look back on it, like, the answer is no. Like, no, it, we're supposed to try to be holy. It says, Jesus said, be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. So we're supposed to shoot for perfection, but no one is ever perfect. No one is ever sinless because if you're off just a little bit, like the tone of your voice is a little bit too high, like that's a sin. But the, the problem people make though, so nobody can be sinless, but if you're a born again Christian, your life will be marked, 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 marked. Your life will be severely marked by uh, righteousness, holiness, purity, and love and truth. That's what you're like. You'll be beaming Jesus 24-7. So you're not going to be sinless, but you'll be beaming Jesus 24-7. And when you mess up, you hate it, you ask for forgiveness, and you keep beaming Jesus 24-7. So it's a radical transformation. You, you literally become a new creation that hates sin, that doesn't sin, it doesn't sin. It ke it's about Jesus 24-7. And if you mess up, you ask for forgiveness and keep going. When people say, like, oh, we sin all the... Like, there's two extremes. Some people say that you can be sinless, which I wondered that after I gave my life to Jesus. But now I see that you can't. Like, if any small little thing is offensive to God. But what you need to focus on, because then you go to the other extreme of people saying, like, you know, we're totally depraved, total depravity. We sin all the time. Like, I sin because I went like this instead of like this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need to focus on the little, like, oh, the tone of my voice was a little bit aggressive or, you know, whatever. I mean, everything's important to Jesus. So focus, focus on what he puts, focus on what Jesus puts on your heart. Like, if your tone is always aggressive, then you need to work on that and ask God to help you with that. So, but God God is calling you to read the New Testament and do what he says to do and seek for God with all your heart until you find him. Give your whole life to Jesus. And before and after you're saved, he's calling you to focus what God is putting on your heart. Like, that's what the new creation does is it's about what Jesus wants in that particular situation. So if you just know the Bible, you may apply the wrong verse to the wrong you know, experience. But if you have the author of the Bible living in you, then you know what to do in a given situation. So some people say, you know, we're sinners. We sin all the time. Sin, 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 sin. God is not as much concerned with, like, if a wrong thought enters my mind, and I throw it right back out, that's completely different than if I dwell on that wrong thought and dwell on that wrong thought, and then I go commit some sins, and then I do this and that. Like, there's a difference between beaming, you've given your whole life to Jesus, you've turned from like a panda into a zebra, a new creation, and you're all about Jesus. And it's not about trying to be all about Jesus, it's automatic that you're all about Jesus. So you won't be sinless, but you're not going to be like sinning all over the place. Like it's possible to be a holy person. So like if you're not holy, you won't see God. Like it says, it says without holiness, no one will see God. And then in another place, it says you'll know who the children of God are because they're righteous. Like they literally are righteous, not Jesus's righteousness. Jesus lives in them. They're a new creation and they live a righteous, holy life. So unless you're living a righteous, holy life, you're not currently on your way to heaven. You're currently on your way to hell. But if you seek after God and turn direction and go as, as hard as you can towards Jesus, seek with all your heart and you'll find Jesus and you'll have that power, peace, love, truth. So, uh, so as far as being sinless, like, Nobody is going to be as perfect as God is, 
but you're sure you're definitely going to be completely holy and righteous and pure and loving and moving for Jesus. So uh, these people who people who say like, oh, you can't live a completely holy life and there is sin all over the place and whatever, like they probably love their sin and don't want to give up their sin. So the two extremes, uh, you know, people say like, well, you know, whatever, like you're not going to want to make an excuse for your sin. If you're born again, you're going to want to be all about Jesus. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus.